Alabama saw record numbers of job loss in March and April due to the pandemic. If you are one of the thousands of people who filed for unemployment last year, you could face a big tax bill. Our Kelly Kennedy explains why and what you can do about it. Like normal income, unemployment benefits are taxed. Although Alabama is one of the few states that doesn't tax unemployment benefits, if you took home an unemployment check last year, you won't be able to get out of paying federal taxes. When someone files a claim, we get ADOL gives them the option to go ahead and have those taxes taken out weekly. The vast majority of people do uh, opt to, to do that because if you don't, then you're going to be in the situation when it comes tax time that you're going to owe that tax liability on those unemployment compensation benefits. So if you received unemployment benefits last year and opted to withhold taxes, you'll probably be fine. But if you're one of the few who chose to take your full check, the IRS will be asking for 10% of those benefits. You're either going to have to pay or, you know, perhaps any existing refund that you might have been entitled to will be offset by that liability. Social Security and Medicare taxes will not be taken from unemployment checks, but that extra $600 a week from the CARES Act will be taxed. You're going to see a lot of people who received a lot more unemployment than they ever would have in the past because of those uh, those additional stimulus payments of the 600 in the summer and then more recently with the 300. All of that is going to be added into that taxable um, amount. So there, there's going to be taxes due on that as well. If you are hit with a high bill and aren't sure how you're going to pay it, the IRS suggests paying what you can and reaching out to them about a payment plan. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX news.